Karen here from I Fix Things, and the other day I noticed when I was trying to access my external hard drive that it was no longer able to be found by my computer, which means that it's dead. Well, um, you know, as is my way, if something's dead and destined for the trash can, I don't mind taking it over and taking it apart and seeing what I can figure out. Well, I did a little bit of research after taking apart my little hard drive case and, you know, took all the parts out, and I got to my little hard drive by Western Dis Digital. Well, what they do is they put a small encrypting circuit board on here, and then you attach a cable from the outside of your computer, you know, because this is an outboard hard drive. You, you take a cable, you attach it to this, and then you attach it with a USB into one of the USB ports. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but this right here is supposed to be silver, and so you can see it is silver. This over here, see that big long landing strip? That's supposed to be silver as well, but it's black, as is this and some other areas on this circuit board. Now, I'm not an electrician, and I don't know a lot about electric electronics, and I don't know a lot about computers, but I do know when I see something bad, and this circuit board is bad. It's burned out. When I took my outboard hard drive and opened up my computer and just put it on to another, you know, ribbon. My computer noticed it. I could hear the disks powering up. I didn't want to go any further because it'll reformat this and erase it, but I want to access this information because all my videos are on here, as are the church videos and so on. So um, the bad thing about having these external hard drives is that this little device encrypts all the information onto this hard drive so you can't access it because I tried plugging it into my computer and it didn't recognize any data. It just said, hey, would you like me to erase it and start over? I'm like, no! So I went online and found a company in Hong Kong that sells this exact model number all the way down to the revision numbers for close to $100, which is a lot cheaper than the $1,000 that these companies that can try to um, open up your hard drives and get the data off of it. So I figured this is worth trying to find something that I can then reattach back to the hard drive and put it back into the computer, plug it in and see if I can access all of my data. So wish me luck. I just got the new circuit board from Hong Kong and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this all back together and you know, hope that it works. Came with free earbuds. Woo! So <clears throat> I'm not going to go ahead and put the entire chassis and casing back together. That's not necessarily necessary because now all I've got to do, turn off my computer, um, power it down, plug in the, the transformer, and then plug it into a USB cable. So let's see what happens. All right, computer is shut down. I have the little power cable. I don't know if you can see power cable right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Oops. Gonna go ahead and plug it in, plug it in. Okay, so the computer is powered back up and I've been, I've been listening to the hard drive. There's been this little light. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's... Where is it? Oh, 
There's been this little life. <laughs> okay, hold on. There's, there's been this little light flicking off and on right here. I've been hearing the hard drive, the little discs churning and chirping, which tells me that it's working. So what I'm going to do is uh, check right now to see, you know, how you can get onto the computer. Here, let's do this. You know how you click down here and then you click on a computer and, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there it is. Before, this was not there at all. Oh, everything is there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to move quickly and um, see if I can transfer all of those files that are on the external hard drive that I've put the new circuit board on and transfer it onto the internal hard drive of my computer. Um, then what I'm going to take do is take the circuit board off of this hard drive the, the the good one, this is the bad one obviously, take it off and turn this hard drive into a slave hard drive with no encryptions and I'm going to build it into the computer because this whole encryption thing is a, just a joke. But I've saved myself over a thousand dollars to retrieve my stuff. So I'm going to pray that this little circuit doesn't burn out like this one did. And thank you for watching. I'm going to spend a little time with my hard drive alone. You know, my YouTube channel is called I Fix Things, but the whole reason I do this is because I feel like you can fix things too. Um, I'm not a specialist. I just figure, hey, what can it hurt to give it a try and try it myself without, you know, tossing it into the trash. You know, I, my philosophy is if it's destined for the trash, I can't hurt it any worse. Um, but, you know, do this at your own risk. I'm not telling you what to do. Obviously, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. You're on your own if you take apart your computer, okay? Have a great day. So it worked. I was able to retrieve all of the files off of my external hard drive, the hard drive with the new circuit board that I got sent over from Hong Kong. It was worth it for me to sort of take the risk and purchase that close to $100 circuit board to replace my burned out circuit board. So now what I'm going to do is take off the good one and build it into the computer. Thanks for watching.